welcome back to Life with the Wukongs. I know it's been a while, maybe a week or two. Um, I haven't uh, put out any videos. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know why. But now I'm all better and ready to start filming and editing again. Whoa, that was a bit yawn. Um, it's early in the morning uh, and kids don't have school. Uh, today I am doing highly requested um, video. I mean, if they request Patan, so they're all highly requested. Um, so I'm making uh, you pancakes for you guys today. You pancake recipe. Say it again, Nelly. You pancake recipe. You heard that right. It's the you pancake recipe for you guys. I make this every Sunday for the kids, and everyone loves it in our family. And you guys really wanted the recipe, so I hope you guys will like it as well. And those of you who don't like ghee, ghee is actually just a butter, Nepalese version of butter or Indian. But I feel like Indian and Nepalese ghee, there is a slight a difference on the flavor, but I could be wrong. Um, so you can use either. And if you don't like ghee, obviously you can use butter and make it a classic recipe. And today we are going to Buddha's birthday. We are going to school chutti bako karanle. I will make a video on this video because I will make a video on this video I will make a video on this video So let's start this recipe so I can feed these children because hungry children in our house are grumpy children so I do not want grumpy children Okay, so let's start Jacob is going to go back being the cameraman and I have two assistants here Okay, no worries so I'm going to show you guys uh, the ingredients. It's actually really simple, I think. <laughs> so we have uh, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You can use self-raising flour as well, but you have to uh, skip the baking powder and Mama baking soda. Uh, you, Nori wants to show how to make flour. Full. I'm teaching Nori Nepalese dance at the moment. Full. Yeah, good girl. Um, <laughs> so this is, oh my god, okay, come on. Uh, so this is one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder mixed in. So it goes in here, Nuri, mix, start mixing, darling. And we have three tablespoons of sugar, just sugar, mixing, darling. And this is one teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than one teaspoon of uh, salt. You can just do two pinch of salt, okay? Yay. Yeah, okay, mix well, darling. Okay, so these are all our dry ingredients. Okay, all the dry ingredients are mixed properly. So now here, this is the main hero of the recipe, uh, you. It's 114 grams, or you can use eight tablespoons of you, whichever you prefer. And we have two eggs. And here, as you can see, we have two big tablespoons of uh, yogurt. I use Greek yogurt. And then these are the toppings that kids can pick. Uh, Jacob loves blueberries. I love. And Nori usually loves sprinkles. And that. And chocolate chip is actually Zach. But today, I think we'll just see whoever wants. I like both, like that and that. Cool. Okay. Do you want some? No. I can have three. You don't want it? Okay. okay, so now let's start mixing everything together. So can I have milk for that? No. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm sort of trying to make a buttermilk, but I like using uh, Greek yogurt and uh, milk, but you can actually use milk and just lemon, squeeze lemon on it, or you can actually buy buttermilk. But I feel like this flavor works better. Yeah, just a second. And you just, just about 500 ml of milk. Yeah, so you can mix this for me. Yeah. So well, that's mixing here. So, um. <laughs> and so Zach is mixing yogurt and milk. Nori is just mixing what he was to mix. And I'm going to separate egg white and egg yolk. And you can actually totally skip this step and you can just put the whole egg in it. But 
I think doing a little bit of extra steps makes your uh, pancake even fluffier and better. I got to just saw an eggshell. <laughs> okay. Who's mixing that? <laughs> can, can mommy do it? Okay. So now we're going to add. Is the, it's all mixed in properly. Mommy mixes. Making sure we're all the ingredients. Okay. We're adding the ghee. Don't eat it. It's a lot of ghee. I know. And just leave this bowl. Do not wash it because you also need um, ghee or butter to uh, coat it on the pan. When you're cooking the pancakes, um, also the egg goes in. What's the egg white for? You have to, uh, okay, let me mommy do quickly. And when you're making pancakes, do not mix it finely. It has to be lumpy, chunky, and you know. Lumpy and chunky. So it creates bubbles in your pancake. And this is why I put it in the pancake. It's not going to be a little bit. It's not going to be a little bit. <laughs> okay, is that good? Okay. I'm just trying to mix. Yeah. Don't be afraid, just dump it in. No, mommy, let mommy do it. And I'll give you after after that. And this is me sound well. Not hit nose again. Please do not whisk it away everything. This is good. Leave it like that, right? And um this is something I like doing it. So Zachary will do it for me. Yeah. So we whisk this and make it super foamy and fluffy and frothy and everything. Frothy. Mm -hmm. And again, I think um, you can use this same recipe with self-raising flour. Uh, just keep baking soda and baking powder and it will still come out just as good. And um, you can totally skip this if you want, but I don't like slimy egg whites running on the batter. <laughs> and also it helps to fluff up the, the pancake as well. So it's just a tiny bit of extra step that I'd like you guys to do it. Because I thought I looked like a tiny bottom, so I thought pancakes are fluffy and they're not banana, you know. So there's like tiny, tiny extra steps you can do to make your pancakes super fluffy and yummy. You can hear it, Nola. The batter is not smooth at all. It's got lumps and chunks and everything. That's what you want. Lumps, huh? Yeah. And Miss Nori here has taken my apron. So she's telling me that I'm not getting it back. <laughs> oh, that cheeky smile. Mama, you're going to get down this is my one. What? What? Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, well, you can have it because you do look super cute. How are you going with that? Good. You still good or you want me to take over? Good. Okay. So we'll just let Zachary make that super fluffy. And again, you don't have to use this thing, you can just use an old school mixer, I know, hardly. But these things are like $10 and it's so helpful, you know, um, so that's what I like to use it. Okay, I think it's done. I mean, you can make more, but yeah, yeah. hold it first, put it in there. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of funny faces in this video. Okay, dump it in, Bubba. So we're dumping this in. And I like to leave it for at least 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And it will also, again, help to fluff up your pancake. If you have time, if you don't, you can just straight go in and start making it. Okay. 
So see you guys in 15 minutes. Go. I like to move it, move it. She likes to move it, move it. We like to move it. She likes to move it, move it. We like to move it. We like to move it. So it's been about 15 minutes, I think. Um, or more. <laughs> so now, but Nori is going to be the first one. So she's going to pick her toppings. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do this thing. Here, here, here. I'm going to put more. You're going to put a tiny bit more. Okay, that's good. Right. And, do you want to mix it? No, the chocolate chips need more. Oh, not too much, otherwise it's going to be too sweet, darling. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is Nori's topping. I'm going to eat one. Okay. Not take two. And I used one cup scoop for each pancake, but there's topping in here, so you can pull na banana, just slightly like that. Mm -hmm. Can I mix it, Mama? Mm. Ah. You can mix it. And oh, so I that's did, the fire. Oh, look, the rainbow. I need you. And if you guys watch our IKEA shopping video, my little IKEA Makineko uh, pan was uh, rubbish, so I had to buy another one. <laughs> okay, done so. Okay. Let's pull it in. Pull it in. Okay. Thank you. No, no, but my other one is going to be just these. Okay. I mean, you can mix both if you want. It looks kind of cool. You have to mix these two? Yeah. Yeah, like, it looks cool. I put one of everything. Really? Yeah. You see, it's bubbling a little. And you can just check the sides. Yep. So, and you can just flip it. Oh! And just. That was perfect. Yeah. And then, I like to give another small swirl of uh, you. So, this is what I got him so far. Jacob was a filling. You got blueberries, chocolate chips, and sprinkles. And more blueberries. Okay. That's good. <laughs> And you can make this pancake fun with the kids, you know, once a week it's fine if they're, if it's not the most healthiest thing they'll eat, but it's fun and you'll enjoy your mornings with your crazy kids. Well, I feel, well, I feel like these blueberries just stay in my hands. It does, you gotta wash your hands. <laughs> okay. So here's one that I've already made, same topping, blueberry, uh, sprinkles and chocolate chip. And this is his second one. You can see there's little bubbles around and get a check. Looks good. And we flip it. And we wait for it. Next pancake is ready. Two. Blue pancakes! Okay. Now it's Jacob's turn. I'm putting blueberries. I think that's it. And then the next one will be chocolate chip. Okay. Then put more blueberries in it. How much blueberries I put in? Cool. Is this good? Yeah. Jacob is trying to make his own pancake. Yeah. Mix it well, buddy. Mix it well. I will. Cool. Now, slowly in the middle. In the middle. I'm shaking. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. Waiting for his pancake. Are you gonna flip the pancake, Jake? Um, 
Yes. Good. I can do it. If you ruin it, it's your pancake. <laughs> Good point. Okay. Oh God. You're scaring me. Have I? Yep. Go I got it. All the way, all the way in. All the way, yep. Now flip it. Make me proud. Oh God, why is it? How do I? Flip it. Get this stuff back inside. Ah. That was perfect. Hmm, not bad. Boom. <laughs> Oops. Jacob's first pancake that he made yes. by himself, not really. <laughs> <laughs> made by himself, not really. <laughs> okay, so pancakes are all done. And I have here, I don't know if you can see it properly. So just mix it. And then put it in one of these. And then here. There you go. And then who wants maple syrup? Okay. And he also wants. I don't want that much though, please. Okay. Just a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> Does nobody want maple syrup? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Pretty cool, right? And my little after like is it simple plain? Malay kebab. I don't like a lot of flavors in it. And the other cooking nothing. But I do like my maple syrup. Okay. So then the fluff. The fluff. Is that fluff? That is so good. The fluff. The fluff. The fluff. Mmm. Mmm. I feel good. Mm. So I'm gonna show you guys how fluffy. Put it in there. Why is it just in that? Why is, why is it Pancakes are nice and fluffy and it tastes delicious. Of course it tastes good. Because I made mine. It tastes delicious. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, this is the only pancake that I like. I was a fan of pancake until I start making my own. Hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know. Tag me on Instagram. I mean, I think that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. We got three happy kids at home and a happy mummy. No, do you want to do sign out because you're really good at it? No, out. <laughs> the Wilcox out. The Wilcox out. Sticky bundy, also video mark. Say bye, Tyler. That's good. This is a good package. Yeah. They're really good. Thank you. Oh, Zuff love. Zuff love.